friends, family, all my supporters from Redefine Fishing Channel. This is Eddie. And first of all, I want to apologize. I know we haven't posted much or we haven't posted in a long time, but unfortunately, we had an incident. I don't know if you guys remember from my last video, I think it was last year. We were bringing the boat back from Newport Ritchie and uh, one of our axles broke and we had to tow the boat back and that's when we decided that we want to do an upgrade let me give you an update what we have been doing with the blue that we've done a couple of changes and this video is to show you the update on what we have done so far we installed two new governized differential i don't know if you guys will see it from there to governize differential. What we did is that we remove the rubber rail. I don't know if you guys remember, it had the white rope. So we're gonna install a new one, completely rubber. Uh, we already removed the old one. It has been clean. I'm gonna be using 5200 silicone. I'm gonna be filling out all those holes and taking care of that later on the t-top was was removed remove all the wiring all the lights remove the top we're gonna be putting a brand new uh, top on it and it's gonna be repainted again we don't know what color we're gonna paint it but that you guys will find out once it's done so basically once the t-top was removed i went ahead and covered all the holes any holes that was not going to be used remove all the rod holders the speakers the seat has been removed and i already started doing all the wiring let me fix this Doing all the wiring. We're gonna be installing another battery. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two batteries. One is gonna be for the motor. And the other battery, we're gonna have the, why is it a toothbrush in there? We're gonna have the GPS, the music radio, VHS radio, um, installed directly to that battery. And, um, then we're gonna have the stern line, navigation light, bilge pump, and the uh, well pump. Those are gonna be installed on a new switch panel that we're gonna install. And then we're gonna put a cover in here. Also, I did this. We're not perfect, but it's all about being, trying to save money. I was gonna do a square one with um quarter inch stardust board um and it was gonna be square but once i finished it i didn't like it um it was too flexible i didn't think it was too supportive so i decided and i didn't like the way it looked just square so i went ahead and bought the half inch board and perfect easy to cut um use uh governize screws and um then kind of like put a little bit of uh we did marine tex and sand it um and did the slanted you know view on it we're gonna put in here we're gonna do the gps we're gonna put the gps in here and we're gonna put the vhs ready and then we're gonna cover it with a sheet of plexiglass the reason why we did this, number one, it prevents from the GPS getting wet and we're gonna keep it there all the time. And the VHS radio used to be on the box on the on the T-top and then we couldn't hear the radio. So I told uh, Carlos, let's go ahead and bring it down. And that way it's right in front of, of us. And then on the plexiglass, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some holes, you know, that way we could hear the radio. Also, we cover we re redo all this. I know it's a little bit, it's still, you know, it looks dirty, it looks rough. But once we take it um, to finish it, it's gonna be done. And uh, we're gonna put the uh, radio 
the music radio or the music radio and the switch panel on this side fuel gauge remove it from this side and put it on top with the other with the other gauge um the switch is going to be put back in here um, i don't know if you guys remember also we the switch and the the control um lever for the motor was um put on one of those board one of these board and um i removed those and fix it and now it's attached to to the console itself i'm gonna put some seats back here i'm gonna be putting some seats back here on both sides uh the rod holders that that will be removed we got different rod holders from there and that's about it so far it's dirty a bunch of leaves in it but i ain't worried about it oh and navigation light um <clears throat> The navigation lab we're gonna put a two since we have our anchor and then the bracket we're gonna put I ordered two uh, navigation light red and green and one on each side it's dirty yeah it's dirty 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 <clears throat> but again with the tires and and anything rims tires for your car for your trailer for your truck um, he also has um, he has a lot of stuff for your truck or car um, the description is going to be down his name is Edwin STS Solution get with him he'll give you a price I know he'll do that um, tell him that Eddie and Carlos sent you and uh, he's going to work with you guys so stay tuned I hope you like this video it's a short video I just wanted to give you an update of what's been um, going on with the boat and hopefully once it's done i am gonna be posting more videos i hope you like this video if you like it if you enjoy it click like um give us your support if you want to comment if you guys got idea for the boat but if you want to comment uh please feel free if there's anything that you guys think that maybe i should maybe i don't know uh, change or do better let me know this is all about saving money um making it as inexpensive as possible because things get expensive let me know comment i will be checking my comments but like if you're not a subscriber subscribe we're trying to reach our goal and um that's about it so thanks thank you all I love you guys and uh, peace out.